So we're going to talk about uh, data encryption, transparent data encryption, TDE. So what is TDE? TDE is part of the data security provided by Oracle. So where TDE fits in the data security realm. So TDE is a part of data security. It's not everything what's in Oracle data security, but it is part of it. And we'll see where it fits in. So data security is provided for data in transit and data at rest. So in Oracle database cloud services, database data security in transit is achieved through network encryption and data at rest is achieved through encryption of data stored in database and data files and even backups. So data at rest is secured by TDE. As I said, including backups, it's secured by the use of encryption implemented through key management framework. And data in transit is provided by native Oracle Net encryption. Security of data at rest. Oracle Database Cloud Services uses Oracle Transparent, Transparent Data Encryption, TDE, to encrypt data in the database data files and in backups. Encrypted data is also protected in temporary table spaces, undo segments, redo logs, during the internal database operations such as join and sort. So these are the different temporary storage areas which are utilized when you work with Oracle database and, and its data. Oracle Transparent uh, Data Encryption, TD, includes a key store. So referred to as a wallet in Oracle Database 11G. In the previous releases, it used to be called a wallet. Now it's a key store uh, in the newer releases. To securely, to securely store master encryption keys and a management framework to securely and efficiently manage the key store and perform key maintenance operation. So TD is the underlying mechanism used for default table spaces, encryption, and encrypted backups, as we mentioned a few times now. It uses a two-tiered key-based architecture to transmit transparently encrypt and decrypt data. The master encryption key is stored in the software key store for table space encryption. This master encryption key is used to encrypt the table space encryption key, which in turn is used to encrypt and decrypt data in the table space. So TDE in Oracle Cloud. When a database deployment is created on Oracle Database Cloud Service, a local auto login software key store is created. The key store is local to the compute node, so it's only local to, so if it's a rack instance, each node will have their own key store. So the auto login software key store is automatically opened when accessed. The key store location is specified in the encryption wallet location parameter. So as uh, many who work with Oracle databases know, uh, and other databases, par different parameters which define the database. This is one of the parameter which gives the location of the key store. The Oracle key stores uh, history, stores a history of retired TD master encryption key, which enables you to change them and still be able to decrypt data that was encrypted under an earlier TD master encryption key. So you can go through the history and use different uh, keys to work with older data. So TD is the underlying mechanism used for default table spaces, encryption and encrypted day backups. So as we mentioned, it uses a two-tiered key-based architecture to transparently encrypt and decrypt data. By default, all new table spaces that you create in database cloud service databases are encrypted. Now there's a parameter which uh, if, we, if we were to change that, that would give us an option not to encrypt table spaces, future table spaces. So there is an option, again, it's in the parameter, which you need to modify. 